According to Poland, 2021 was the biggest year for earthquakes since 2017 when 3,427 were recorded. So really, 2021 isn't all that great. Maybe above average high, but not by that much, he said. The biggest event of the year was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake that occurred beneath Yellowstone Lake on July 16. About 65% of earthquakes occur as part of 26 incident swarms where multiple seismic events occur over the same small area over a relatively short period of time without any major shaking. This type of seismic activity is common in the Yellowstone region and typically accounts for about half of all earthquakes there. The largest swarm of 2021 consists of 825 events in the July 15, 25 period beneath Yellowstone Lake. While most earthquakes in the region are minor, it is important to monitor seismic activity as larger events occasionally occur, says Poland. The major geological threat on the human timescale in the Yellowstone area is from strong earthquakes such as the 1959 magnitude 7.3 earthquake on Lake Hebgen, which caused extensive damage to the region, including landslides in the Madison Canyon area that killed 28 people and killed 28 people, resulting in the formation of a new lake. The Yellowstone region is one of the most seismically active regions in the country, so it's important to track that activity," Poland said. This area is also volcanically active, so of course seismic monitoring is important to assess the potential for volcanic or hydrothermal, steam-driven, activity," he said. But the last volcanic eruption was 70,000 years ago. Strong earthquakes, such as a magnitude 7.3 in 1959 or a magnitude 6.1 in 1975 in Yellowstone National Park, occur on average several times per century in the region. Poland says 2022 so far has been pretty average in terms of seismic activity with more than 550 earthquakes recorded in the Yellowstone area.